Hello, I'm Brian Shithouse, SAS Wanker. I've done 19 tours of Afghanistan, and what a waste of fucking time that was. Now, I've been following this Ukraine situation very closely. I've been following it on the news, on the internet. I've done a proper deep dive on the situation. And I won't like to, I still haven't got a fucking clue what's going on. For days now, the mainstream media have been telling us that war is imminent. Russian troops have massed on the Ukrainian border, and they bought a shitload of bombs and missiles with them. Joe Biden's threatened Putin with sanctions, but we can't really discern anything from that, can we? Because Biden, of course, is more than a few sandwiches short of a fucking picnic. He seems to believe Russia's going to invade Ukraine, but he also believes the care home nurse who changes his nappies and wipes his ass for him is actually his mother. And now today the mainstream media is telling us that Russian troops are actually withdrawing from the Ukrainian border. It's all a bit fucking confusing. Using in it. Obviously, I don't want to stand here and slag off Russia because they're a bit sneaky with the old polonium, aren't they? I don't want to end up like Alexander Litvinenko. One minute you're slagging off Putin, the next thing you know, you're eating radioactive soup. A few days later, you're dying in a hospital bed looking like the fucking Roswell incident. I don't need that in my life. I've just bought a hot tub for the garden. I'm looking forward to a summer of bubbly fun. Apparently it's all about NATO. NATO is on the face of it, an international military alliance between a number of Western countries. But who knows what they really get up to? Murky military industrial complex cunts. Russia doesn't want Ukraine to join NATO, and that's what all this dick swinging's about. And I don't know which fucking side I'm on, to be honest. Who's the aggressor? Russia or America? Who's lying to us? Fucking both of them. It's fucked my head up, mate. I've had to go back on the anti-anxiety medication. The world's absolutely full of cancer,